In this chapter, we will go through the process of creating a light plot. We will create lighting devices, positions, and apply labels using label legends. We will start by placing a lighting position. Lighting positions are the hanging points for instruments. They should normally be placed on the light plot before the instruments are added. Vectorworks Spotlight comes with the many commonly used lighting position symbols. They are accessible through the Resource Browser. In the Resource Browser, click on the Files menu and select Vectorworks Libraries. To access the Lighting Positions resource file, click on the Object-Entertainment folder, select Lighting Positions IMP.VWX, and click Open. To more easily view resources in the Resource Browser, click on the Disclosure arrow underneath the House icon and select View As Thumbnails. Select the 50-foot pipe symbol. Right-click or Control-click on Mac and select Import from the Contextual menu. Click OK in the Import Symbols dialog box to accept the defaults. Revert back to the active document in the Resource Browser by clicking on the Home icon. The 50-foot pipe symbol will now show in this file's resources. Switch to the Lights-Positions class and set the layer to Light Plot. Double-click on the 50-foot pipe in the Resource Browser to make it the active symbol. Go to the Spotlight toolset and choose the Light Position Object tool. Click once between the Downstage Border and House Curtain on the Center Line Guide. Move your cursor to the right to set a horizontal rotation and click once more to place the position. Note, if this is the first time you have placed a lighting position, the Object Properties dialog box will appear. Click OK to accept the defaults. Set the Z height to 24 feet in the Object Info palette and name the position First Electric. Now we are going to create a vertical position with a 20-foot pipe. In the Resource Browser, Go back to the Lighting Positions IMP.VWX resource file. Import the 20-foot pipe symbol following the same procedure used to import the 50-foot pipe. Switch the resource browser back to your active document by clicking on the house icon. Double-click on the 20-foot pipe symbol in the resource browser to make it the active symbol. Go to the Spotlight toolset and choose the Light Position Object tool. Click once in the front of house on the stage right side of the seating layout. Move your cursor up to set a vertical rotation and click once more to place the position. Set the Z height to 24 feet in the object info palette and name the position FOH Vert 1. We will place more positions later in this project. We will only use pipe symbols in this example file, however, Vectorworks also has truss tools capable of making straight and curved trusses that can be used as lighting positions. In addition, the Vectorworks libraries also include many truss symbols for many manufacturers. Light instruments are made from symbols. Normally they should be hybrid 2D, 3D symbols. These symbols have separate 2D and 3D components. This allows them to be displayed differently depending on the view. At the very least, a lighting device symbol needs to consist of 2D screen objects. Creating custom lighting instruments will be covered in another section of this guide. For our theater project, we will use symbols from Vectorworks' large symbol libraries. We will show inserting instruments, assigning them to a position, modifying the instrument's attributes, and setting focus points. Let's start by inserting an ETC Source 4 26 degree light. Switch to the Lights-Instruments class. Turn off the Soft Goods and Scenery layer. In the Resource Browser, click on the Files menu and select Vectorworks Libraries. In the Object-Entertainment folder, select Lighting-ETC.VWX and click Open. Select the ETC Source 4 26 degree symbol, right-click or Control-click on Mac, and select Import from the Contextual menu. Click OK in the Import Symbols dialog box to accept the defaults. Revert back to the active document in the Resource Browser by clicking the Home icon. 
the ETC source 4 26 degree symbol will now show in this file's resources. Double click on the ETC source 4 26 degree in the resource browser to make it the active symbol. Note, a properly configured light symbol when double clicked on in the resource browser will automatically activate the lighting instrument tool. You will see a Did You Know dialog box appear advising you of this action. Click OK to exit the dialog box. Click once at the insertion of the center guideline and the first electric position to set the insertion point of the lighting instrument. Move the cursor to the right horizontally. Click once more to set the rotation of the instrument. Note the instrument is automatically assigned to the first electric position. This is a default spotlight preference setting. Now let's modify this lighting instrument's attributes. The attributes for a lighting instrument can be modified through the Object Info Palette, clicking the Edit button in the Object Info Palette, or by double-clicking directly on the instrument. The unit number, channel, dimmer, circuit number, purpose, color, focus, wattage, beam slash field angle, shutter, depth slash angle, and many more attributes can be modified. Lighting instruments can also be set to draw their beam in 2D and or 3D. In this example, we will set a color and adjust the shutter. Press the X key twice to deactivate the lighting instrument tool. Then double click on the instrument. In the lighting device dialog box, under the instrument properties, click on the color list. The color menu will appear. In the top right corner, click on the pick color button. Choose the Spotlight Roscoe colors in the color palette section. Under the color list, select R302 and click OK. Note, the RGB value will be automatically displayed in the color field. You can change this to R-302. Click on the Shutters tab. Adjust the top shutter depth to 25% at 0 degrees. Click OK to save these adjustments. Next, we will set the focus point for our light. Turn on the scenery layer, right click on the instrument, select Focus Instruments, select Next Click, click OK, leave the focus point name set to A, and the height set to 5 feet, and click OK. Click in the center of the ramp to set the focus point. Note. Focus points can also be placed using the Focus Point tool in the Spotlight tool set. You can then assign a focus point to a lighting instrument in the Object Info Palette or Lighting Device dialog box. It's a good idea to place focus points in their own class. In this document, place all focus points in the Focus Point Objects class we created earlier. Now, let's create a label legend to display information about this lighting instrument. Label Legends will display information about an instrument around it on the design layer. Select Spotlight, Label Legend Manager, and click Add. Name the first legend LL-1. Select the following attributes to display. Position, Color, and Focus. Under Lighting Instrument Layout Symbol, select Choose. Select the ETC Source 4 26 degree symbol and click OK. Select the LL-1 legend and click Edit Layout. Drag the tags on the left and arrange them around the sample lighting instrument. Click Exit Symbol in the top right corner. Double click on the lighting instrument. Set the label legend to LL-1 under Instrument Properties and click OK. We now have a complete lighting instrument with a label legend. Next, we will duplicate eight more instruments and distribute them on this position using the Align and Distribute command. With the lighting device selected, select Edit, Duplicate. Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. Repeat seven more times. You should have a total of nine lighting device objects. Activate the Select Similar tool in the Basic Palette. Click once on one of the lighting devices to select them all. In the Spotlight tool set, activate the Align and Distribute Items tool. Click once on the left end of the first electric lighting position and once more on the right end. 
In the Align and Distribute dialog box, choose Distribute and Evenly Inside Points. Click OK. Also, using the methods discussed earlier, create a few more focus points for the new instruments. We are going to use the first electric position to create the additional positions. In this example, we will duplicate the position, change the position names, and replace some lighting devices with others. First, we're going to turn off the theater architecture and scenery layers, as well as the Focus Objects class, to make it easier to select multiple objects. Select the first electric and all of the lights. Activate the Move by Points tool in the Basic Palette. In the toolbar, set the tool modes to Move and Object Retention, and set the number of duplicates to 3. Click once on the stage right end of the first electric. Move your cursor up, Press Tab to enter the floating data bar, set X to 5 feet, and press Enter or Return twice. Adjust the position names in the Object Info Palette to display 2nd through 4th electrics. Select all of the instruments on the second electric, click Edit in the Object Info Palette, set the position to 2nd electric, Click Apply to All, and then OK. Repeat this for the instruments on the third and fourth electrics. Next, let's switch some of the instruments to another type. In the Resource Browser, click on the Files menu and select Vectorworks Libraries. In the Object-Entertainment folder, select Lighting-ETC Dot .vwx and click Open. Select the Source 4 PAR WFL symbol. Right-click or Control-click on Mac and select Import from the contextual menu. Click OK in the Import Symbols dialog box to accept the defaults. Revert back to the active document in the Resource Browser by clicking the Home icon. As you can see, the Source 4 PAR WFL symbol now shows in this file's resources. Select all of the instruments on the third and fourth electric. Select Spotlight, Replace Instrument. Choose Replace Selected Instruments. Under Symbols, choose Source 4, PAR, WFL, and click OK. With the new instrument still selected, set the rotation to 180 degrees in the Object Info Palette. Let's look at the vertical position in the front of the house. Vertical positions have instruments on both sides representing lights that are stacked on top of each other. We will need two new label legends for the vertical positions. Create two new label legends named LL-2 and LL-3. Select the same attributes as LL-1, Position, Color, and Focus. Place all the labels on the left side of the symbol for LL-2 and on the right side for LL3. Now, let's place some instruments on the front of house vert 1 position. Place another ETC source 4 26 degree on the left side of the position towards the top. Double click on the instrument, make sure the position is set to FOH vert 1, set the color to R-36, and the Focus to C. In the Object Info Palette, set the Z height to 24 feet. Make four duplicates of this instrument and align them along the left side of the position. Select all five instruments, activate the Mirror tool from the Basic Tool Palette, and set the mirror line along the position. Next, select all the instruments and the position, then turn on the theater architecture layer so that we can use the center guideline to mirror this position to the opposite side of the theater.
select the new position and rename it FOH VERT2. Select all of the instruments on FOH VERT2 and set the focus to B. Assign Label Legend 2 to the instruments on the left and LL-3 to the instruments on the right of each of the two vertical positions. Select Spotlight Number Instruments. Set the field name to Unit Number, the prefix to S- dash, and the start number to 1. Click OK, and then OK again in the Numbering Instruments dialog. In order, from bottom left to top right, click on all of the stage instruments and then click in a blank area to finish the numbering. After numbering the instruments, you should double check in the Object Info palette to confirm that they were numbered correctly. Repeat this process for the front of house instruments. Use the suffix FOH dash. Vectorworks can generate instrument schedules, hookups, and other paperwork. You can also create custom reports as well. First, we're going to create a new design layer for our paperwork. Select Tools, Organization. Under the Design Layers tab, click the New button. Name the layer Paperwork and click OK. Set the scale of the layer to 1 to 1. Click OK to exit the Organization dialog box. You should now see the blank paperwork design layer. If you still see objects from the other layers, make sure that the paperwork layer is the active layer, select View, confirm that Unified View is checked, and that in the Unified View options, Ignore Layers with different scales is checked. Now let's use the Generate Paperwork command. Select Spotlight, Reports, Generate Paperwork. In the Generate Paperwork dialog, under Schedules, select Instrument and Color Schedule. Click Setup. Select all fields under Column Order and click the Move Left button. Now, select and add the following fields using the Move Right button. Position, Unit Number, Instrument Type, Focus. Click OK and then OK again. You will now see the schedules in the resource browser. Click and drag the instrument, color, and seating count schedules from the resource browser onto your design layer. You may want to edit the formatting of the schedules to adjust column width. To edit a schedule, double-click on the Place Schedule. Make any modifications that are necessary.